What is going on YouTube? Today we are going to discuss everything Resban, specifically these three vinyl records that we just re-released. So we thought we'd show them all to you. And uh, these um, were, if you don't know anything about Resban, they are, um, they started out of Chicago as Jesus People USA loosely they kind of came from milwaukee came down as part as part of the jesus people movement and um they landed in chicago started cornerstone festival and basically uh long and short of it is they've had a historic career um with some really really epic albums and we got the opportunity to release three of them so i wanted to discuss those with you and today i'm smoking a gurkha Royal Challenge, and if you guys watch my videos, you guys know I always have sweet tea with me. Anyway, Greg here with Gurder Music. Let's discuss Res Band, or maybe as some of you know, Resurrection Band. Uh, Glenn Kaiser, Wendy Kaiser, Stu Heisen team. I mean, they've put together such John Heron. They've put together such an amazing. Um, 80s Christian rock, early Jesus music, probably two of my all-time favorite albums are those really, really early star song releases called Rainbow's End, and then of course, Awaiting Your Reply. Early 70s releases, um, or maybe late 70s releases, that, I mean, are just epic, amazing. If you don't have those, you need to track them down. We get used copies. Here, let me show you. I'm sure I have them here. I just got to pull them out. I've got a whole stack of res vinyl that we could actually go through before we even talk about those. But I wanted to really show you these because this Rainbow's End album, um, I have two copies because I love it so much. One's sealed, one's not. Um, these are amazing, amazing, amazing releases. Um, if you guys don't know anything about Resurrection Band, this Rainbow's End record, which uh, 1979, I was right, late 80s or late 70s. Where's my brain at today? I don't know. Um, such great, great records. And then the other one is Awaiting Your Reply that is such an amazing album. And this one, I think, came out, did this come out in 78, like the year before it? Lord, I mean, it surely it says it here somewhere. 1978, the year before. So 1978 and 1979. These two albums are just absolutely epic. Later on in their career, they put out a um, couple albums. Here's one, Silent Screams. They put out Bootleg. And then uh, Between Heaven and Hell. I already showed bootleg. This one's got an insert in it. I have a couple copies. I mean, I just love this stuff. And then they had a Music to Raise the Dead. They had a lot more records, a lot more albums. Some of them were on vinyl. Some of them weren't on vinyl. The three that we're going to talk about today um, are Colors, which I believe came out in 19... Uh, was this 1980? Why did I not put the date on the back of when it originally came out? Oh, I did put the date on the back. 1980. Uh, so... Colors came out in 1980. Here's the original version. Let me show you an original version of this. It's a sealed original copy. Nice and pretty because it's sealed. There's the front. There's the back. Can't. It's it's not open, so I'm not going to open it to show you what's on the inside. But there is a record inside. I can promise you that. Here is the version that we put out the version that we released the original version pretty much the same thing you can notice that we moved the resurrection band logo and we moved it down to the bottom um, rather than the top because as you can see it kind of just got hit on the top right it just kind of got hit up there so we thought it would be cooler to put it down the bottom a lot of people might not have even noticed that which is fine but uh, so we put this out and um, a really cool gatefold 
It's got all the liner notes inside. It's got all the lyrics. There's the back. And you'll notice the backs, pretty similar. Pretty similar. Use the same photos, same location. We did change the uh, fonts a little bit for the songs rather than just shoving them up there. And then obviously we put Glenn Kaiser, Wendy Kaiser, Stu Heist, Jim Denton, and John Herring down there with the limited run vinyl logo. The Gerda Records logo. So once again, here's the gatefold so that you can see it. This one came out. Mm. Sometimes words don't quite express how amazing they look. I'll just let that speak for itself. On the inside, we include this amazing poster. Check that out. 24 by 24 poster on the inside. Absolutely huge. Retro photo. Scott Waters did, did a, just an amazing job releasing it. We have these in black. We have these in splatter. We have them in a solid color. You can just check the website. Link's down below. Then we also put out um, Mommy Don't Love Daddy anymore. Here is an original pressing of Mommy Don't Love Daddy. The back, the front. This is the version we put out. You can kind of see the Light Records logo in the bottom left, the limited run vinyl, and once again, lyrics on or the song titles on the top just kind of stuck out because that black on red just kind of got lost. And so we went with just some cleaner fonts, some more readable fonts. And you know, obviously when this thing came out in 1981, you know, there's only so much that you can do. So gatefold inside looks absolutely stunning. This one came out really sick looking. So it's kind of a, um, I call it seafoam green. The goal was to get it to match close to this. Um, it doesn't match close. It's actually a little bit closer when you look at it in person on the screen. It looks a little bit bluer. It's definitely a little more more green, but you can see it definitely matches the coloring, you know, that's on the back. So it looked pretty stunning. As well, this one also has a poster on the inside. 24 by 24 poster. There you go. Really, really great looking poster on the inside. And then lastly, we did one of my all-time favorite albums. And I say that about every res record. Like, they're my all-time favorite. Oh yeah, they are. They are my all-time favorite. My cigar went out. It happens when you don't smoke them. Anyway, you got to be careful with a cigar by these records. Uh, so, here was the original DMZ. There's the front. There's the back. There's our version, once again. There's ours. Um, not much difference on the front, except hours and hours and hours of cleanup. And worked with Scott Waters just for a long time. We did some, some some changes on the back. We kind of moved some of the photos around a little bit. Kind of kept most of the stuff the same. Song titles, once again, on the old record. They got shoved all the way up here. We put them right there. This was more readable. Anyway. Amazing looking gatefold with lots and lots of other photos on the inside. A whole write up. Now, I should explain to you, see this John Thompson right up on top by John Thompson? It's a three part write up. So, there is one part Um, well, had it upside down. There is two parts. So once again, you got part one. 
part two, and then part three. And you can see I almost lost the record. The record came out pretty stunning. All of these came out in a specialty color, but then they also came out in a solid color and they also came out in black. Every one of them are gate folds. Every one of them has the write-ups in there. And then the poster, which, um, what did I do with the poster? The poster's not in there. I took it out to show somebody. Ah, here, here we go. Oh, here's the solid color. I haven't taken the shrink off. So solid red on this one. Poster in this. I mean, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Glenn Kaiser and Stu Heiss. So that's the poster that goes inside of DMZ. And we went with Resban, which was their name later on. Uh, went from Resurrection Man to Resban. So all three of them have posters. All three of them. Have posters that are 24 by 24. They all come in color. This one is a orange and white swirl. Then we have Mommy Don't Love Daddy Anymore that came. I think I might actually have the. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do. Here, look. Gorgeous, gorgeous purple. They came in Mommy Don't Love Daddy Anymore. Or the. Seafoam green. They have matching hype stickers on the front to show you the colors of the records. And, um, oh, here, like, see, orange and yellow hype sticker on the front. Yeah. So there you have it. Um, Resurrection Man DMZ, Resurrection Man Colors, and Resurrection Man. Mommy Don't Love Daddy Anymore. Three amazing looking records, all gatefolds, all with posters, with three part write-ups. Those write-ups go kind of from one to the other, so you kind of have to read the first one to go all the way down. So if you want the whole write-up, you gotta buy all three albums. They are available in black. I can tell you this, at the time of making this video, which is um, here early July, this one's almost sold out. So, there'll be no more of this one. Anyway, so that's it, folks. Thank you for watching. My name's Greg with Girder. I'll put all the links down below so you guys can buy the stuff. Um, but I appreciate your support. Um, I'm going to do another video on the other side of this. And uh, it will be for the, um, oh, the Bride Records. I'll be showing you Bride Snakes and Bride Kinetic Faith. So stay tuned. Um... Hopefully, by the time I do this video up here above me, hopefully you'll see these records up there in frames. Be blessed, guys. We'll talk soon. This is Greg with Girder. Later.